Welcome to our channel, The Travel Feast. In this video we are going to explore the beautiful city Barcelona. Barcelona, the cosmopolitan capital of Spain's Catalonia region, is known for its art and architecture. From gaudy to messy, towering architecture to towers built of people, visiting the sea to gorging on produce, Barcelona's to-do list is as plentiful as its sunny days. So here we have the definitive list of what to do in Barcelona for the time smart traveler. Sangrada Familia is a must-see and always at the top of any list of Barcelona tourist attractions. It was designed by famous Catalan Spanish architect Antoni Gaudí back in 1882. Gaudí's extraordinary temple dedicated to the Holy Family also known as the world's largest unfinished church, whose latest projected end date is 2026. Three million tourists flock here each year to gawk at the architectural achievement that has brought nature, light and religion together into one stunning ensemble. The interior is like a giant jigsaw puzzle, with each new architect's style blending into the rest of Gaudí's visionary design. Over 20 architects and 200 building workers are still working full-time to finish it. This unique temple is undoubtedly Barcelona's most famous attraction and the most visited attraction in Spain. Be sure to book a ticket ahead so you can get inside and gawk at the vaults and rainbow-stained glass. The Magic Fountain was built as one of the main attractions for the 1929 Barcelona World Fair. This is a light, music and water extravaganza that just can't be missed. Performances are nightly, but times vary depending on the time of year. It is still one of the most famous places in Barcelona, with an estimated 2.5 million visitors annually. La Rambla, or Las Ramblas, as it is sometimes called, is Barcelona's most famous boulevard. The heart of Barcelona's social life is found on La Rambla, a broad tree-shaded avenue that divides the old town into two parts. This wide street, featuring expansive pedestrian sidewalks, is lined with shops, restaurants, and outdoor cafes, making it one of the most popular hangouts in the city. During the day, many locals are found here doing their everyday shopping at the Mercat de la Baquiria, and at night, groups of friends and families take their evening stroll here to enjoy the fresh air and lively ambience depending on the day, onlookers might be treated to live music, a mime show, or other impromptu street performances. Since March 2019 there's been a monument to the victims of the terrorist attack that took place on here in August 2017. Keep your eyes peeled, as it's embedded in the ground, just by the Joan Miro mosaic, which you also might walk right over if you're not paying attention. Camp Nou is the home of legendary FC Barcelona football team with some of the best players in the world, including Leo Messi. Home of the FC Barcelona, the 99,354-seat stadium is the largest in Europe and second-largest in the world. Attend a game here or take the lively tour and visit the museum. Barrio Gotico or the Gothic Quarter has been the spiritual and secular center of the city. Relics of ancient Roman buildings are still found here, but the Middle Ages are best represented by the historic monuments packed into this quarter. The Gothic Quarter is where Christopher Columbus was received by the Catholic monarchs after his first voyage to the New World, and since the 14th and 15th centuries, the city administrations have had their seat here. 
wander through this delightful maze of narrow cobblestone streets and atmospheric alleyways to discover this magical traffic-free medieval world. Park Gel is another UNESCO World Heritage Site designed by Antoni Gaudi. It is beautifully landscaped and features architectural elements in Gaudi's signature style. These creative structures are decorated in multicolored ceramic fragments. A spectacular terrace offers panoramic views of the city and the sea. Gaudi himself loved this area of the city, and his home was located here. Yet another amazing Gaudi creation, the UNESCO-listed Casa Batlo, is one of the most characteristic modernist buildings in Barcelona. The fantastical mansion was designed as a private residence for the textile manufacturer Joseph Batlo i Casanovas. With its freely swinging shapes and ornamental facade, this dreamlike building looks like a castle from a surreal fairy tale. Casa Mila is also affectionately known as La Pedrera, which translates to the stone quarry because the building resembles an open quarry. Built between 1906 and 1912, this flamboyant avant-garde dwelling looks more like a sculpture than a functional building. Every line of the natural stone facade is curved, with rounded windows and metal balcony railings twining around in plant-like shapes. La Baquiria is no doubt one of Barcelona's most famous tourist attractions for some simple reasons. The fresh ingredients and cooked foods available are impressive, and it's a culinary icon of Barcelona. A visit to the market of La Baquiria in Barcelona is advisable to enjoy an incredible contrast between colors and activity, ideal to discover why Mediterranean cuisine is internationally known due to its ingredients. One of the main attractions in La Barceloneta are its beaches, which are the longest, most renowned and most visited in the city. They are extremely lively and have excellent services. You may fancy getting in touch with nature, or maybe you want to play volleyball, swim in the med or do any number of activities with the word surf in them. Or perhaps you're just very keen not to go back home without the perfect tan. Many of the city's beaches feature beach bars, called chiringuitos, where you can take a break from the sun and sit in the shade with a cool snack and a refreshing cocktail. At night they turn into great little party venues, with spot on music and even better vibes. All right guys, those are the top 10 attraction in Barcelona, and if you are from Barcelona or been there, post your own tips in the comments section below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe and turn on notification if you haven't already.